Hi, I'm Andrea Rodriguez. And I'm Chuyun Fan. And we're going to be interviewing people at their booth at the Computer Science Expo. How are you doing? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, it's so, so nice to, to, to see y'all meet y'all. Hey, how many of y'all have ever met a software engineer before? As students arrive, they are greeted by Compton's own Anthony Mace. Hi, what's your name? I'm Anthony D. Mace. All right, so what are you doing here at the Computer Science Expo? I'm sharing my story about how I came from Compton and went on to become a software engineer at Google and now uh, have become an entrepreneur. So just want to inspire the generation that's coming after me to understand that they can pursue a path in tech and be successful. I like that tech has enabled me to come back to Compton and to uh, support other people and just inspire them and to travel all over the nation, all over the country, doing the same thing um, in places big and small. So that's, that's really what I've enjoyed about tech. And it wasn't the easiest journey. Um, there were some there are some hard spots, especially in college, graduating with a 2.87 GPA, um, not really feeling like I could get a job at a place like Google, but here I am. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Hi, how's it going? Uh, I'm Ethan Leverson. Uh, where school, what school are you from? Uh, I'm not from the school, but I am from the company Lenovo, and so, we, uh, yeah, we're here today to help you guys out with your computer expo. And what's your, what's going on over there? Yeah, so what you see behind us is basically our eSports kind of suite. And we have everything from desktops, laptops, high refresh rate screens to really focus on, you know, really bringing in eSports programs to your guys' school and everything. What's the main focus? The focus here is to really bring in a lot of technology to students as well too because through eSports they're learning of stuff about competition, they're learning about um, being fair sports and also they're kind of teaching them about technology to help bring in different like development plans and everything as well too. What we're showing here is just kind of bringing excitement into our product and the kids as well because everyone loves video games and so you know we have the ecosystem to really help with video games as well too. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Madison. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Laurel Street Elementary School. I'm in part of the tech team. Oh, okay, great. So what are you working on here at your booth? A virtual reality. It's uh, We have headsets, but they're not for use right now. It's My presentation is about global warming, and I made it on my computer on CoSpaces. So what is the goal for your booth? The goal for our booth is to teach everyone about the problems that the world has and ways to solve it by using technology. That's great. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Miss Candice, um, Candice Bogarty. I also go by Dope Candy. I'm a producer, DJ, and the audio production department head for Compton School District. Where do you come from? So I'm originally from Detroit. Um, I moved to LA about two years ago and just settled here at Compton and started this program. Uh, what's your booth about? So this is audio production. Um, our What we teach is teach students how to produce music, how to DJ, and how to audio engineer. What's your goal? The goal is to expose all of the youth and the students that are in the district to what we do in our program um, so that they can be engaged and uh, really just be exposed to the creative side and the technology side when it comes to creating music. Thank you. I really like your booth. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Danny. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles and I work with Project Lead the Way. Okay, what is your booth here about? So Project Lead the Way provides hands-on and engaging STEM to students from pre-K all the way to high school. All right, so what is your goal with your booth? So we're teaching computer science, but unplugged. So normally computer science is on a screen. We take it and make it real life and away from a computer screen so that we can learn critical thinking and problem solving and practice our listening skills. All right, thank you for your time. In this room, there's middle school and high school esports and robotics. And as you can see, there's a lot of fun and interesting things going on around here. Hi, what's your name? London Shaw. All right, so what is it like to be a girl on a high school robotics team? Well, at first it was like usually intimidating because we already know like STEM is male dominated, but luckily I have other girls on the team and our coach is also a female as well. So I felt very welcoming and luckily my team is open arms. All right, that's great. Thank you.
Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Dee Dixon and I work for ZSpace. Uh, where are you coming from? I actually live in Arizona, but our company is located in San Jose. And what's your booth about? This is the first holographic metaverse virtual reality laptop that allows students to sit down, launch something, and see what they've created in virtual reality without a headset or goggles. So this is just your naked eye looking at the screen. That's really cool. What's the goal? So the goal of the booth today is to show how you can create in any platform and then you can actually see those ob objects in virtual reality. So up here you'll see those snowmen. I created that with blocks coding and I imported that snowman into the scene to show my design thinking and also created a brand new type of presentation for That's It's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Hi, what's your name? My name is Destiny Rodriguez. All right, where are you from? We're from Dominguez High School. All right, so what are you doing here at your booth? Uh, I play for a team here in eSports, we're called Divine. Uh, I'm currently the only female in this team and throughout this whole uh, competition and we're just practicing right now, <laughs> basically. How does it feel to be a female gamer? Uh, I mean, it's fine. I don't do competitive stuff often, so this is a new experience, but it's pretty fun. I don't mind it. I'm pretty casual with it. I wouldn't say I'm the best at all, but I guess I just play it for fun. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Michelle Dawson. I'm the Senior Director of Innovation and Technology for Compton Unified School District. And what's going on here today? Today is our sixth annual Computer Science Expo. The last two years we've had to do that virtually, but this year we're back in person. Our goal here is to really expose students to how they can be involved in computer science by inviting a lot of organizations and companies in the industry that actually use coding in their jobs. So behind us, we have multiple schools that are showcasing esports, robotics, and coding, as well as our partners. We have Lenovo, we have Project Lead the Way, we have the Army, we have the Downey Science Museum here. We also have Z Space here and Marina Village that are teaching our kids about the careers they can have in coding. Yes, I really love what you're doing here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Michael Wiggins. All right, what is your booth about? So, um, we, we have a company called Village Safety, and we build mobile apps, mobile safety apps. Currently, we have an app out for school campuses. We have one out for marina, marinas, and we're in the process of building other apps for, um, for homeowners associations, for uh, churches, and a number of other different environments. So we write the code for it and deploy it. So what would you say the central goal of your um, booth and project is? So our, our apps are for safety, so they're to, to safeguard people, to get them help when they need it, when they have an emergency, and also to create a community conversation around safety. All right, thank you. We've seen many great booths here, but now it's time to see the best booth here at the Computer Science Expo, and that's Davis, Davis Middle, Middle School. School. Hi, what's your name? Gerardo Vidal. Karina Samantha Rodriguez. And what school do you come from? Davis Middle School. Davis Middle School. All right, so what is your project about at your booth? Pitch y'all roll. Uh, navigation lights. What's your name? Mateo. And what school do you come from? I come from Davis Middle School. All right, so what is your booth about? So we're trying to tell people about planes and the components or things that they interactive, interact with when they fly, like drag, which is what pushes back on a plane and makes it slower, and thrust, which comes from these um, engines. the engines, and um, lift, which actually makes the plane fly. It's um, a gliding force or a mechanical force um, of the air pushing against the, win uh, pushing against the wings. All right, so what is your goal with your booth and your project? So we were trying to make a, um, a supersonic airplane. We were trying to make a very angular cone so it reduces the amount of drag so it could be, so you could travel places faster. All right, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Wendy Dimas. And what's your project about? 
Our project is basically about navigation lights. <laughs> so uh, basically, this is one of our models. And you can see that these are going on the same pace while this one isn't. Basically, it's the same thing as like the navigation lights on a plane, you know? Like when you see them, they're gonna have the same things. So we're just like making a model of them. This is like a way you could do it with microbit. So what's the importance of navigation lights on planes? Well, um, navigation lights are an important thing because they uh, basically, they just show where you're going. So they, they're, they navigation lights, you know? They navigate where you go, yeah. All right, thank you. Hi, what's your name? All right, my name is David Ardieta. And what's your project about? So well, the project that we're doing is Qubit. So what we do is that we connected these Qubits right here. You have your battery and then an input. We're just using knobs. And when you connect it all together, you can actually adjust the speed of or the intensity of whatever you're doing. For this one, for example, it's a little spinny bit. If I adjust it slower, it'll go slightly slower. If I adjust it faster, it'll go slightly faster. And as you can see over here that they're just connecting everything together and seeing like what big, what big uh, ro robots they can build together. What's the main goal of your project? Main goal of the project is to kind of get the brain working. We don't give them clear instructions. We tell them, what does everything do? It's up to them to figure out what to do from there. So it's kind of getting that creativity, uh, critical thinking. There we go. Saying like, if this, if this part of the robot didn't work, maybe it was upside down or backwards and seeing how they could flip it around, for example. Thank you. All right, no problem. All right, hi, what's your name? Um, my name is Desiree Reno. All right, uh, what school do you come from? Compton High School. Okay, so what is your um, booth and project about? Um, this is Aerospace from Project Lead the Way, um, one of the courses you can take in Compton High. Currently we have the drones, so we're just explaining how they work, how you can use them, apply them to jobs in the future, and current applications. They're for flying and they're cool, but also they could be a job and they can help you get money and stuff, you know? Alright, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Kimberly Hernandez. Okay, what school do you come from? From Compton Early College High School. Okay, so what is the project um, that you're working on at your booth? We're trying to teach kids uh, binary code. So what binary code is, it's it's the way that computers communicate each other through ones and zeros. So you know how like in the movies you see when they're hacking and you see a whole bunch of ones and zeros and you're like, what is that? Well, it's a real thing. So we have different papers that show different numbers and what the kids have to do is compete one-on-one -on -one against each other to turn the normal numbers into binary code. So ultimately we're just trying to enlighten like the new generation and the kids, get them interested in STEM and teach them how to do code because coding and programming is essentially our future. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. This is Andrea Rodriguez and this is Tui Hung Pham and we hope you've enjoyed our tour. We hope to see you next, next year. year.